Let me show you how to check the transmission in an original Maytag top low washer. Lay down the washer like this on the floor. Then remove the front panel. Use a flat screwdriver like this to disengage the two holding clips. Or remove the two holding screws if your washer uses screws. Grab the front panel, lift it to disengage it from the top clips and take it right out. Remove the two belts. When you turn the transmission, pull it counterclockwise. The transmission should agitate like this. And when you turn the pulley clockwise, the brake should release and the drum on the washer should spin. That is the way that a good transmission should work. Now let me show you the internal parts of the transmission. In order for me to be able to film and show you everything, I remove this drum support bracket. But you don't have to remove yours. Turn the transmission pulley clockwise to set the transmission like this. To remove the transmission cover, remove these four screws. Use a spatula or a putty knife to break the seal on the cover on the transmission. And remove the cover plate. Put a container under the transmission to catch the oil when you flip the transmission over. Turn the pulley clockwise to turn the transmission. Make sure the container is right under the transmission and is able to catch the oil when you flip the transmission. Allow enough time for the oil to come out of the transmission. After all the oil has come out of the transmission, remove the container and put it aside. Turn the transmission pulley clockwise. Until the transmission is in this position. You could put some kerosene in the transmission and use a brush to clean the gears. You could use another container to catch the kerosene when you flip the transmission. You could put some old towels under the transmission too to catch any spills of oil or kerosene. This way you don't make a mess. Turn the transmission pulley clockwise to turn the transmission and remove the kerosene. And keep turning it until the transmission is in this position so you can see the gears. When the motor and the belt turn the transmission pulley counterclockwise, this is what happened inside of the transmission. 
This is how the gears turn inside of the transmission during agitation. You can see as the big gear turns, this piece oscillates and that's how you get agitation. They use make a gasket glue to put the cover on these transmissions. So if a piece of dry make a gasket glue falls between these two gears, the gears will get jammed and they will not turn and the result will be that the washer will not agitate and it could burn the dry belt. Let me show you how to remove this gear. Turn this retaining clip around and push down on it to open the clip and remove it. It could be a little tricky because it's slippery because it has oil on it. Once you're able to open the clip and push it down, then just remove it. To be able to remove this white gear out, do the following. Grab the transmission pulley and pull it out enough to be able to get the gear out. Like this. Now you can remove the little white gear and inspect it to see if it's damaged or not. I don't think you need to remove this piece, but I'm going to remove it so you take a look at it. It's a flat piece of metal, like with a bronze washer. Inspect this big gear, make sure that it doesn't have broken pieces or something. Put the metal pieces in place, making sure that the bronze washer is facing the bottom of the transmission. Put the little plastic gear in place and hold it. I'm pushing the bottom transmission shaft like this. Make sure that it's pushed all the way in so you could install the holding clip like this. Now you could grab the holding clip with the metal part facing down to the transmission like this and push on it until it clips on. Turn the transmission pulley counterclockwise to make sure that the transmission is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Here are the oil and the plastic gear part numbers. You should put some new oil in. I'm using the same oil because I'm just showing you. There's nothing wrong with my transmission. You should be able to use form a gasket from an auto parts store to seal the cover. After putting the form a gasket on the cover, then put it in place and secure it with the four holding screws. Then reassemble all the parts that you took out, the belts, the front cover, etc. This is the end of the video. I hope that the video helped you take care of the transmission on your Maytag washer. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified every time I make a new video. This is Angel the Appliance Man. Thank you for watching this video.